here at Spirit Halloween in Noblesville, Indiana. Go do some shopping. Should be fun. Okay, guys, so this is the haul from Spirit Halloween. I got Rick Ratman. He just came in as we were pulling in from, from Spirit Halloween. He just came in, so a very convenient time. I got I bought Wendell Webworth at, Hall, at Spirit Halloween. I got uh, tombstones, severed body parts, a chainsaw, a jumping spider, a fog machine, and fog juice. Dude, I think it was like, I think all together it was like almost $800, but man, was it worth it. Uh, I'm going to do separate unboxings on my channel, uh, on these props, on these animatronics. So yeah, stay tuned. I just spent $700. Okay, so I just bought Wanda Webworth, Rick Ratman, Jumping Spider, and a fog machine, a chainsaw. A couple other things, two sons. And we're gonna start doing some unboxings right now. What's going on, you guys? This is Cameron Likes Halloween, and in today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing, setup, and review of Spirit Halloween's 2024 Rick Ratman. Let's get right into this guy. I bought him online. He was $200. So, we'll see what $200 can get you from Spirit Halloween. By the way, I just want to say, very, very clean box design. I'm really liking the... The simple creepy tree background, I think it's great. All right, Rick Bradley. Let's see what we got. parts out and show you what you get for Spirit Halloween's Rick Ratman. Let's do it. Let's start off we got the instructions as well as the clothing. Here we have the gore piece. Hey, boop. These shoes, by the way, these shoes feel really good. And like really high high quality shoes. These feel great. These are heavy. Ooh. I like these shoes. Nice. Shoulder piece. Phone. There we go, guys. Y'all ready to see Rick? Batman? Three, two, one. I'm about to see how good the face is myself. Holy cow. Wow, that's a great looking zombie face. Jeez. That is amazing. Take a look at that. The teeth, the gore on him is great. Obviously the blood could look better, but I'm not complaining. That looks good. Very pleased with the head. We're gonna keep him in here for right now, so he's protected. He's not. Arm 
piece. His one arm that he has. I'll be right back. Got some scissors for the zip tie. mechanism, I think. Uh, very sure. The wrap piece for the inside of the score the stomach. These are the pieces you get for Rick Ratman. You have his arm, his clothing and menu, his gore piece, his shoulder blade, his adapter, his rat, his uh, arm and leg pulls, his base and his head, and his shoes mechanism. And I don't quite know what this is right now. I think this is one of his, is this one of his arms, I think? Yeah, that should be it. So I'm actually just gonna set this guy up all or right now. And I'll get you guys for the demo. Man, oh man, does he look awesome. And man, oh man, did he take forever to set up. Personally, he just took forever for me. Here we have the... You can't, you can't actually see the rat on the inside. I think he might actually be backwards. But right now, I'm not going to mess with him. Uh, when I set him outside, maybe I will. But I'm actually really tired right now. Yeah, it seems like the rat would be the other way on the other side. But here he is, Rick Ratman. We're going to do a demo of him, and yeah. Here we go, we're going to plug in Rick Ratman, but first let's admire how he looks. He looks incredible, super gory, super scary looking. I love him. Let's plug in our Rick Ratman animatronic and see if he works. Oh shoot, I didn't put the sensor up yet, hold on. Got a sensor in right there. Let's plug him in. Rick Ratman, what you got? Come on. He is not ready yet. Hold on. Here we go. We're going to plug in our Rick Ratman. He was on step pack mode. Now he's on sensory mode. Here, wrong plug in. Here we go. All right, Rick, let's see it. Hold on. Oh. That is great. Oh my God. So that fell out. There wasn't actually the Velcro piece to attach to his arm. So I had to just throw that in there. I'm honestly gonna keep it out because he looks perfectly fine without that. I 
I have his arm, his arm on wrong. So his arm is really weird. The way you connect it is so weird. I guess I did it wrong. So I'm going to connect his arm right, and then we'll do another demo. Really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and do the other demo here. Takes one second. The amount it thrashes around is incredible. God, it's amazing. This is incredible, dude. The gore on it is insane. Comparing that to every other animatronic I have, that's obviously the goriest other than him. One of whatever, this could be awesome though anyway, so. One more. Thank you guys for watching. That was Cameron Likes Halloween. And I'll see you all on the next one. Wanda Webberth. See ya.